having an American Express business credit card could be uh, actually a great boon for your business, a great opportunity to not only uh, build business credit, but also take care of your, I would say your liquidity strategy. Okay. So in today's conversation, I want to explain to you all the hacks, all the tricks, all the tips you need to have in mind if you are trying to build a great American Express business credit card strategy. So here is the overview you need to really pay attention to before we get into the nitty gritty. One thing I need to say to you here is that, you know, when it comes to uh, American Credit, American Express Credit, Business Credit Card, if you have a minimum credit score of 600, you could qualify for any credit card, any MX Business Credit Card. So 600 is a good start. And uh, even if you are a single member ALC or a sole proprietorship, you could still qualify for uh, an AMS business credit card, not a problem. In other words, you don't have to be an actual business to qualify for an AMS business credit card. And this is the kind of card that is also available for those borrow those business borrowers who want to apply using EIN only. It's totally possible. And it takes about it takes about one to two days for you to actually uh, get the business credit card approved if you have all if you meet all the requirements. Otherwise, it takes longer, you know. And it's also important to understand that. Amex does not offer a secured business credit card. A lot of folks are saying sometimes you, you, if you go on Reddit or if you go in online forums, people say, well, Amex has a secret, quote unquote, secret secured business credit card. The answer is no. We've been dealing with Amex for the last 20 years. We can tell you for a fact they do not offer a secured business credit card. Okay. And uh, it's also important to understand that you can actually have uh, two or three Amex business credit card. Not a problem. Okay. And uh, you don't have to, you don't have, uh, like, you have uh, the unofficial rule of the, the Chase 524 rule. So Amex also limits to uh, five, the number of business and consumer credit cards that you can have. So five is, is the exact number. And it's, also, it's really important to understand that when you want to pick the right Amex business credit card, you got to have, you got to think about your needs first, right? By the way, Welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. It's always wonderful when we have conversations about Amex business credit card strategies. Okay, so to pick the right Amex business credit card, start with your needs and then ask about are you looking for cashback rewards and whatnot and think about your uh, your spending limits. Okay, are you willing to actually absorb a very high annual fee? Or you don't you don't really want to actually have any any uh, any card with a fee. So you gotta think about those things. Let me give you a winner. So if you if you're listening to me right now, you're sitting there, you're just trying to establish your American Express business credit card strategy. Here is a winner strategy for you. Okay, so let's look at the, let's have a closer look at our top American Express business credit card. So if you are into travel and you're looking for a, an Amex card for travel that has uh, that, that has the best for travel, you want to go with the business platinum card from Amex. Okay. What we love about this card is that uh, you get what you pay for with this premium business credit card because it offers a constellation of valuable annual credits and provides access to some of the best luxury travel lounges around all while all about rewarding top business expenses like electronic goods and hardware supplies and so this card is built for high spending established businesses whether online brick and mortar or both so th this card is great for frequent business travelers who desires who desire the height of luxury and comfort on the trip so if that's you if this like rings like uh, music to your ear then you want to go with this okay and uh, so this card offers luxury travel benefits and high rewards returns at a premium price so if top tier travel rewards are your primary focus outside the business centric perks you want to consider for example the capital one venture x rewards credit card okay this is a strong alternative and uh, but hey listen it is what it is and so by the way i want to quickly remind you of today's topic we're having a conversation about American Express business credit card strategy. Okay, so so if you, so this is for the Amex Platinum card. If you are looking for a no annual fee rewards credit card from Amex, you want to consider the Blue Business Plus credit card. Okay, this is another fantastic fantastic 
uh, card here and the highest rewards tier offered by this card is now limited by specific spending categories making it ideal for businesses with a well-rounded approach to spending and while cardholders face a spending cap of uh, a spending cap for their top reward tier what we have seen here is that that cap is generous because you have fifty thousand dollars for two x points per year then one x points and so this card is great for small business owners who want straightforward rewards without paying an annual fee okay fantastic and uh, so yeah it is it is it is really great and we'll love it a lot Another card I want to talk to you about. This is the American Express Blue Business Cash card, and so this is this card is great if uh, you happen to have a, a startup, you have a new business, a new LLC, and you're just trying to figure out how you know what kind of spending you you will have. And uh, so we love the fact that it has an expanded buying power feature that gives business owners a longer run a runway to cover unexpected expenses that may push you over your credit limits. So this perk is, is a unique extension of purchasing power new businesses may not often have access to, okay? So in our view, in our research, based on our research, this card is great for business startups that want to earn straightforward flat rate cash back. So one thing we love here is that uh, you can, we love the flexibility that comes with this card, okay? And the card does not charge an annual fee and boasts a strong flat rate re rewards and uh, but it may be held back by its yearly spending cap on 2x categories so if you can stomach taking on a reasonable annual fee the capital one spark cash plus offers two percent rewards on all purchases with spending cap another card that you might want to if you if your strategy is to earn rewards through uh, american express then you might want to consider the american express business gold card and the cool thing about this card is that uh you know this card offers six valuable business oriented rewards categories and as a card holder you will retroactively earn 4x points on the two highest spending categories each billing cycle until you pass one hundred fifty thousand dollars in combined bonus category purchases for that calendar year and then you, you will have to earn 1x on other purchases okay and so this card is great for small business owners with flexible spending habits and through the business so there are alternatives though though the business platinum card from american express comes with a steep 695 annual fee okay 600 dollars and 95 dollars i mean 695 dollars you know jet setting businesses owners might find this premium travel perks and comprehensive airport lounge worth every single cent so it really depends on where you find yourself on the rewards spectrum i want to talk to you also about let's say uh, if you are looking for an airline specific card or you are looking for airline specific perks one of the best in our view the best of the best is uh, the delta sky miles platinum business american express card okay and uh what we love about this card is that the 250 dollars annual fee can be quickly offset with a lucrative welcome offer and the annual domestic companion certificate each year if they're renewing your card okay and as a card holder in your you need to understand that if you are a let's say a primarily dedicated delta flyer and if you have plenty of other features to take advantage of including a free first check bag on delta flights you have priority boarding in flight savings and you also have a significant amount of travel and shopping protection so as that if you have if you combine all those uh, passions and uh, interest you're gonna love this card for sure so this card is just great for habitual data flyers and occasional travelers looking to save on yearly domestic vacation cost okay you'll be able to receive plenty of value from the sky miles platinum business credit card and uh, so this is uh, one thing that you need to think about now. What if what if you're not loyal to Delta? What if you have uh, you know other airlines that you love? Then you want you might want to actually think about another another one. You have for you, for example you have the Business Gold Card, okay? And this card comes with Amex's impressive membership rewards program, which offers greater flexibility for point redemption. By the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's uh, topic. 
we're having a conversation about the American Express business credit card strategy. Okay, let me give you the approach that you need to follow here if you are trying to up your Amex business credit card strategy. You need to uh, rate your American Express uh, business credit card options. Like before choosing, you have to think about the APR. You have to think about the rewards rates. You have to think about the annual fee. You have to think about the introductory offers. You have to think about bonuses, discounts, and perks, okay? Those are really important. Things like uh, airport lounge access, free employee cars, and rental car insurance. You need to actually incorporate all those so you can calculate the total expected value. Let me give you a few pro tips here so we can actually deepen the conversation. And uh, let me give you a few pros and cons of American Express business credit cards so you know exactly what's uh, what's really happening. And uh, so pros, you have a lenient qualification. So for some, it can be a lot easier to uh, qualify for a business credit card than a line of credit or a bank loan. Plus, you will receive a host of business focused benefits. Okay, so the focus here is really cool because this is what you really need to actually bring your business to the next level. And in terms of credit limits, American Express business credit cards usually provide higher credit limits than consumer credit cards, which can be helpful when funding large purchases. You also have funding access. So an Amex business credit card can help address cash flow concerns, especially for new businesses looking to expand. And you have loyalty perks. So Amex has partnerships with some of the world's top hotel and airline brands allowing cardholders to receive extra rewards and value with their credit card. So this is just fantastic. What about the cons? You have high annual fees. So some of uh, Amex top tier cars carry a very steep annual fee. Think about the 695 I just told you about. Okay. So while the rewards these cars offer can make it worthwhile, some may be unable to justify the additional cost. And then you have liability. Okay, so business owners may be personally liable for any unpaid debt on their American Express business credit cards and uh, business credit can affect your personal credit. And there are fewer protections. So Amex business credit cards as other credit cards in general are not subject to offer the same consumer protections as many personal credit cards under the credit card of uh, credit card act of 2009. Okay. And however, Many issuers will, will voluntarily each extend those protections to their business products. Okay. And you also may have a higher interest sometime because American Express cars can be expensive to keep, especially with relatively high average interest rates and fees. So this cost can negatively impact your business's bottom line if you're not careful. So you have to be, you have to use your card responsibly. Let's quickly talk about the corporate membership rewards because it is something that a lot of folks are interested in. People talk about it all the time. And so American Express, they actually offer access to uh, their renewed membership rewards program on uh, its consumer and business credit cards. Still, it, it also allows businesses to turn every purchase into an investment in the company with corporate membership rewards, okay? So this program, what will happen here is that this program enables users to book businesses, business trips, recognize employees with gift cards, supply the office and everything in between. So you really have a large constellation of uh, users here, okay? For let's say an annual membership fee of $75 per card. Members can also redeem points for a credit on your company's card statement and earn points that do not have an, an aspiration date. So this is something you have to think if it works for you, okay? And on top of that, members can earn up to 1.25 membership rewards points for every dollar charged to their MS corporate card for business expenses, such as, you know, you have like things like travel accommodations, you have utility bills. In addition to that, you can also earn two membership rewards points for each dollar you spend on foreign currency transactions and grab transactions, computer hardware, software, and cloud services, and online advertising. 
certificate and include and interested business owners and employees can enroll by logging into American Express at work or by contracting your Amex representative. The, the thing I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make here is that there, there are a lot of possibilities. Okay. And uh, through Amex and entrepreneurs, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business owner, you don't need to operate a formal business structure. You don't need, you don't need to have like a, like a corporation, an LLC to get a business credit card from Amex or any other person. I, I, think, I know I already said that and you don't need an EIN either. You can apply as a sole proprietor using your social. As long as you sell a good or a service, issuers usually consider you an eligible small business owner. Okay. So this is uh this is the little subtle, those are the subtleties I want you to really have in mind. So here are the steps I want you to follow if you are well if you are thinking about applying for an Amex business credit card okay now applying for an Amex business credit card is nearly the same as applying for a personal Amex credit card however it can be tricky to navigate the process because there might be a few additional steps okay if it's it's worth uh, if it's your first time applying existing Amex card members can sign into their account to expedite the process but new customers will begin by filling out some personal information and details about your business, about their businesses. Okay. And so you will have things like your legal business name. So, I mean, you know, if, if you, if you are a sole proprietor, you just need to have your DBA or just your company or just your name. Okay. And if you are a business, then you need to, you need to use the, the business's legal name. And one thing I need to say here is that you need to actually uh, put the business name you want to put on the card. Okay. And so the business name that will appear on your credit card just below the card holder or authorized user's name. So you can put your legal business name here, but sometimes it won't fit in the provided box. So you have to put something. Think about your business address. Think about the company structure. So in most cases, your company structure will be considered a super partnership. But if you have a partner, you want to select partnership. You want to choose. You want to choose a corporation if you have established a legal business, such as an LLC or S corp. Here, you want to. You, you also need to put the, the number of employees that you have. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you know, this includes all current employees, including yourself, so that you always select at least one. You have to talk about the number of. I mean, the uh, your annual business revenue. So this is the total amount of money your business earns in a year before taxes or other expenses are factored into it. Okay. Or if you're just starting out, it's just fine to put zero as well. Not a problem. And you need to think about your estimated monthly spend because this number should include all anticipated expenses you plan to put on the card on the Amex card every month because Amex wants to have an idea of uh, how much they may be, how much business they may be able to to extract from you right so you have to be very careful and very honest here and you need to put your federal tax id number your ein you also need to put your company role so if you're the ceo if you're the cfo whatever whatever role you have within the company you have to include that so that it's pretty clear to uh amex whom they're dealing with okay this is really important <laughs> Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about American Express business credit card strategy. So I actually give you an overview about the, the cards you need. I give you the winner. So for every every category, the best card, give you the approach, the pro tips, and now the bonus. Thank you so much. God bless you. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>